Okay. <laughs> so this is the. So we go on to the next part, which is the addition of lecture note. Okay. To add a lecture note, add an activity or resource. Okay. And then you go down to the Baba file. You go down to file. Okay. File. The file. Okay. File. So you'll upload a file. Add any file is there. No file. PDF file. Okay, just said. Just said. Just said. It is it got file, right? Just said. Just said. Anything. Just put lecture one. Lecture one. Just put lecture one. Just put lecture one. Then put description. So just put description part. Okay. Display on the course page. Always click here. Okay. And now you add your file. It's straightforward. This one is straightforward when you do the adding. Take any file, any file which is there, any, any file. Let's stop. Just see any file. Is there nothing there? Click document, document. No, that won't have anything. So it won't have. Let's put any file, any file from that PC. Any file from the PC which is there. Nothing. No file there. Eh? Just, just. There's no file because you are using your machine. Okay, so just, just save this as PDF and use it. Save as, save as PDF on desktop. <coughs> save as PDF. Then save. 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 And you save and add. Just pull, drag and drop, run anyway. Just drag and drop. Actually, the system prefers you to drag and drop it in rather than adding a file. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 10 MB. It's, the last one is 10 MB because of, I explained it's because JTMK is limit on the server space. Because we have so many users, it's the same, same. Because we are taking into account the number of users, which is 14,000 plus. So we have to limit of the system. Yeah, resize. Actually, you can actually do another one, doctor. You can actually add as a folder. You can make two files in one folder and add the folder to, to this directly. Can accept, big can, file. can accept big file, multiple folder. So, okay. So, big, 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 big file, bizarre. Zip also can, but zip, the student have to have the zip installer. Zul, you can go down to the one, the activity. Okay. This is the most important one, which you should click on all, always. A student can show activity as complete when conditions are met. Okay. It applies for everything, whether it's uh, assignment or lecture. Otherwise, you will not be able to track the student's uh, performance in the system. Okay, so by default, it's giving the user control, but this is asking us to control the system. So that's it. Save and display or save and return to the one of the key you can. Save and. Yeah, you can create your profile with your picture, your YouTube account, and everything else inside. You can create it inside the system. Okay, so you have assignment one and you have the lecture. Okay, so that's your lecture setup. Okay, now coming down to what Dr. Avendin said, to be safe, you put one feedback in each each uh, week. Okay, if you have a feedback, you are safe because the feedback, because the fundamental of blended learning is basically to receive feedback on all content. So you just add your feedback. So you thumba one, add an activity or resource, you thumba feedback or forum, you add to each lecture. So then your other, you don't have to worry about the seven, three, two. Because those will add up to that. So the student coming in the system, whether they interact or not, it will still be recorded as a feedback, yeah. as a content in the system. So you add your feedback. Feedback. Yeah. You need to put an instruction. Please refer to the lecture note or please give your feedback regarding this uh, following lecture. It's good to have it as a safety, as a good practice because the best practice because. Uh, uh, it's about actually by right right if you see the best practices there are two types of feedback in the system one feedback is the first one which comes in announcement which says that uh, any feedback regarding the course it can be any question regarding how many marks for assignment this can be the general feedback and then each lecture note it's a good practice to have a feedback system because the, what the ministry want I mean their system they audit it they are checking whether the student 
provided feedback means if there's feedback means there's engagement that's how they see it it's for the feedback no feedback is a free uh, free uh, interactive system no 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 feedback is not compulsory so feedback you don't click on that so in the feedback you can give instructions refer to this particular article on the book and then and give the feedback on that it can be any instruction okay for this one you don't click uh, for this one you don't click this one otherwise okay it will penalize the student don't click this leave it as yeah don't penalize the student for no feedback unless the uh, feedback is linked to your table for another the marks okay if you are giving marks for feedback then you can put it as an activity otherwise don't penalize the student by giving them a negative mark for no feedback for the purpose of our feedback should be there every as means you have your 1732 so we just follow that feedback icon for the feedback okay the feedback yeah the feedback can be set for the student will reply for example we set it for one feedback per user so means each student will give one feedback viewing the you can actually do this by doing in the restrict access here click you will click restrict access so that means you can add a restriction okay prevent unex prevent student achieve so you can control that so control access you can complete or not complete other activity. you can set, set the restriction we don't do the restriction for feedback because feedback is a, a general feed we don't do restriction for feedback because feedback is generally for all to share yeah if you want them to give like what you said uh, they can give you uh, what they call the course synopsis what they call the reflective note uh, reflective note but that one you upload as assignment don't upload as feedback it can be a reflective note okay the reason why i'm telling you all this is have any of you all applied for any of the national award like akri anugra akri right anugra have any of you all applied in the lecture okay so according to the the ministry has an award pan salmi can tell about it you can can you tell them about brief so the reason why we are collecting all this data for you is because you when you are a young lecturer when you are like you can make your portfolio so you submit your portfolio for the national award so all this data of interaction reflective note is actually co collect, collecting it together we are going to have a competition <laughs> in soon and we are going to open it all no the purpose of the competition is to train you to become a better uh, interactive lecturer on blended learning because we have to keep on par with our uh, who brother from the west malaysia <laughs> Uh, old lecture also got but old lecture but you need to collect the portfolio for sapulu tahun 10 years 10 years that one below 40 so b40 is b40 you need to collect for <laughs> the the what below 50 below 50 so above 40 there will be another another yes that's so talk or talk of any talk of what is that that one the higher level right so basically what you need to do is this data which you collect from the system is very important for your portfolio we don't have, currently we don't have portfolio so when we go to ministry our lecturer go there is no interaction element so with this one you can capture all the data i will show you how to capture analytics later on so how it basically use the system so this is basically the system so so you can save and display okay so this one only penalize penalize students for rubric okay okay yeah. so now we have everything inside so you have your lecture you have your assignment you have your feedback so as a good practice Uh, please follow that consistently so okay okay this one is clear right okay so i will go down to i will just show you a brief analytics so can you just show the analytics to them analytics you can just show the analytics okay go to analytics uh, system analytics where is the analytics go to reports and click on the analytics okay uh, analytics graphs okay click here analytics analytics go to analytics dibawa paling bawa okay okay see ha huh? okay number of active students Okay, click. Okay, okay. See all of you all in the class. You can see it straight away. 
you all are interact. For example, you are in the class, right? You give your student an assignment, you go off for a project, you say, uh, watch this lecture online, download complete assignment, then you are in the somewhere else doing your conference in Hong Kong or something, you want to see your st student, you can see it here, you can see who's there in the system, where they were there. Okay, so now you know <laughs> which of your students are lagging behind and which are <laughs> actually progressing at any given time. Is it new one? Sorry? The, no, previous one doesn't have analytics. Yeah, we put in the plugin for yeah, new feature for analytics. So this is used by our colleagues, our other peers. They use it to track the lagging student because some of the students are lagging behind. So they can figure out, for example, the student is lagging behind in class. Why are they lagging behind? Is it that they don't view the lecture? Did they not complete the assignment? <laughs> you can figure it out straight away. So at now you, it's not populated because it's just one day. But at the end of the week or the month, you can see the whole class. And then you will get a heat map. It converts it to graphs. Why is it three times the Oh, three times? That's because those, it's, 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 it's <coughs> participation. See? They upload. So the name. So every, every entry is recorded as one metric. It's recording everything. Live, live like a Twitter feed. It's like a Twitter feed. It's recording as it goes along. Okay? So that's about the activity. You can actually play with the graph. So you can click here. You can actually play with the graph. Okay, you can print chart, you can download, and you can save it as in your uh, course file. Directly you download, you got course file. For example, student is lagging behind. They come to the lecture and say, why is the student lagging behind? Then you have to justify, but you have that. They never attended, so it's all in evidence, black and white. So they're free, okay? So go back to Blackang, that one, yes, course analytics. Actually, there are many functions there, but I cannot teach you all, all in a short time, otherwise it will become confusing. Okay, now there are, these functions are the basic, right? I will teach you two advanced uh, functions in the system. Okay, there are two advanced functions in the system which you need to know, which will help you a lot. Okay, so we add, we will add an activity report, we add the big blue button. But that one doesn't have camera, right? Other camera, okay. So now I'm going to teach you two functions which will be very useful for you. Do any of you all use Kahoot in class? Are you all using Kahoot in class? Quiz? So how many you use? You have a Kahoot account, Dr. Lim. You, use, you create in Kahoot? You create new quizzes? Okay, so what they found out is now the new generation of students want to use more interaction. They want more interaction in the classroom. So in the classroom, there are some, some things known as, there's something known as Kahoot, which we use, uh, I think many students are familiar with, which is actually a quiz sharing platform. You can create quiz in Kahoot, and it's very interesting in class because it changes the atmosphere in the class. For example, it's a good way to assess student in the middle of the class, okay? So, so you do the first concept, 15 minutes, and then you give them a Kahoot. You give a definition, five or six uh, definitions, and then you ask them, so whoever scores first, they get, they win, <laughs> and then they get points. Now, Kahoot is very good because you can share your content with other lecturers online, and you can also use other people's content, okay? So in this system, we have, this is the Kahoot platform, okay? You are free to use it. It's not integrated into our system, but what we have integration with is something known as the big blue button and H5P, okay? Okay, let's uh, look at the first one, which is big blue button. Okay, this is something known as big blue button. Have you all heard about big blue button? No, right? So, if you see, how, are you all using uh, Google Meet in your interaction with your co researcher or student? Google Meet? Google Meet. In UMS, we have Google Meet. Do you all use it to, to talk to your collaborator, for example, overseas? Zoom. Zoom. Oh, use Zoom. Use Zoom and then you use uh, Skype, right? We have Skype, Google Meet, Zoom. And